So let me ask you a question. As an aspiring trader, what do you think is more valuable for your education? Taking a training course or watching trading live streams? This was a question I saw on the internet the other day by a good buddy of mine, and it prompted a, a really good discussion in my live trading room. My answer was, really neither get the job done. Let me explain. Um, I came across a question, I loaded up Twitter real quick over the break, and I saw a very interesting question, and I'd be curious to hear what your opinion is on it. Um, the question came from uh, Austin Silver. Um, it says, when you're learning to trade, would you rather pay for a course or watch someone trade live? And I would love your opinion on that. When you're learning to trade, would you rather pay for a course or watch someone trade live? Now, I think we all know the ideal scenario, and I, I was going to give a response, and I ran out of time, and I didn't really know how to do it, because it, it, it's it's not a black or white answer, is it? Right? There are some, some foundational things we need to take into account, um, and are, you know one of those things is obviously the educator. How good is the educator? One of my questions was about the live streams. Are the live streams educational live streams? Like here in the Tier 1 Trading Live Trading Room? <laughs> or is it um, just kind of like watch me trade? Right? Because when I first... You know, so before I started working with Trade Empowered... I was in a live trading room. I was in one with Jason Stapleton. And then there was another guy that was before me running a New York live trading room. And I, I, have, I have no idea. I forgot what his name was. But he was a phenomenal trader. Right? This is before I was doing education and all this fun stuff. right? He was a phenomenal trader. He was probably one of the best traders I've ever seen in my life. But he was a horrible teacher. So we'd go into the New York live room and, and it would last like all day. It would be open like six o'clock in the morning to like six o'clock at night, right? All day. And he would just tell you what he was doing. So he'd be like, Gartley, Euro dollar. It was funny because it'd be like, it'd be like 10 minutes of silence and then it would be like, <clears throat> Gartley, Euro dollar. I'm long. And then it just it would go back in the silence. I'm not even lying. I'm not even joking here. It was the, the driest, most methodical. Like you had to ha I had the volume all the way up, like always on high alert of like when the <clears throat> what happened. Um, but he was he was tremendous. Like his stats were incredible. But you didn't learn a damn thing. You didn't learn anything in that room, right? It, it was it was more like a signal service where it was like instead of getting the ping on your computer, it was just a, a, a someone coming in. So he was a great trader, but you learned nothing from the live stream. He didn't, like, it wasn't like what we do here. He didn't break down any opportunities. He didn't take any questions. It was just you watch someone trade live. And so if, if, if you look at a live stream that way, there was no educational value in it. As, as a newer trader, it would do absolutely nothing to push you along that path of becoming a consistently profitable trader. But then on the other hand, right, you can, you can say the same thing for courses, right? You know, Jason Greystone is famous for putting out a video saying courses don't work. And I would, I would even go this far. And I, and I think we do courses a little bit differently. And obviously we pride ourselves. But like, I don't think you can be, I think it would be very hard to be successful if you only took the courses here at Tier 1. Now, again, I, I think we do a great job, Adam, obviously. But I don't think it's enough, right? I, I don't think it's enough. It is like... It is like um, it's like practicing playing a sport, but never actually doing it against other people. Never doing it in a game. Like a game environment is completely different than a practice environment. Um, so it, it's a really tough question. Um, I don't think it's a. <laughs> I don't think it, it, it's not. It, it depends on so many moving pieces. Obviously, the, I think the correct answer is, is, is both, right? The, the way we have it set up is you have courses to teach you 
And then you have live rooms to supplement, live rooms, accountability sessions, Q&As, all that fun stuff to supplement what you've been taught. So it's to teach you the concepts. And then it's once you're familiar with those concepts, it's take you into a live room environment and pound you over the head over and over and over again about how those concepts actually apply to the live markets. Because they don't always apply the same way they do in a controlled environment. We see stuff all the time in here where it's like, ah, it's a head and shoulders top, but I wouldn't sell it. Well, why? Because in this particular instance, blah, 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 blah. So I think it is both, but it, it's, it's interesting if you had to choose one. And I think it does come down to your level of trader as well, right? If you're a brand spanking new, fresh out the pamper trader, and you have a bland live stream, it's probably going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. You're just going to get overwhelmed and confused, right? Back when I remembered to do introductions and disclaimers here in the live room, I would tell people, hey, the pace of this live room is fast. You're going to hear a lot of terminology which you may not be familiar with. You're probably going to be overwhelmed because we're talking about 80 different type of trading strategies. And you're trying to, by the time you figure out what I said with one, we're on to another thing. So in that case, of course, we be better because it's slow. It's methodical. You can lock in on a single thing. Um, so it, it is interesting. Orsi says, and I think Orsi's initial answer was, if I had to choose one, it would be course. That, that's where I would go to, Orsi. If I had to choose one, it would be course because I'm, I'm assuming most live streams aren't as good as this. Not a humble brag, but I'm assuming most live streams are not going to, as a newer trader, I'm assuming I'm not going to learn much from a live stream, right? If, if that were the case, think about how many traders would be good just by watching YouTube, right? How many traders have gotten good watching YouTube? There's all types of live streams every single day and trading videos on YouTube, right? <laughs> so I, I'm with you on that. I think courses would be the one if I had to pick. But Orsi says, I remember when I started, I appreciate the knowledge I learned when I was, um, when uh, that was implemented in the live session. So for me, definitely learning the basics was vital. Yeah, because if you don't learn the basics, the live sessions are kind of pointless. Alejandro says, well, he was no Akil Stokes, that other trader. You're, you're darn right. I feel, I feel bad for whoever has to follow me up. Huh. <laughs> um, more so you need a combination of both and more. Bobby said they go hand in hand. That is something which isn't, which isn't talked about enough in trading, in the trading community. Yeah. Um, add, add that to the list. Add that to the list. And that's why I thought it was such a, an interesting question to discuss. There was so much terminology that I hadn't learned, plus English is not my first language. Yeah. Um, so that's a, that, it's a, I like the question. I, I, don't, I don't think it's answerable because there's so many moving pieces. That's like answering like, Hey, who's better, Michael Jordan or LeBron? Or who's better, Ronaldo or Messi? Like, there, there's, it's, it, it's different, different, difficult. Um, but I think if I had to choose, <laughs> Pele, obviously. If I had to choose, I think it would be the courses. What do you, what do you guys think? If you had to choose, would it be the courses over the live rooms? Again, thinking about what your average live stream, not a New York trading live room. I think, I think it would have to be the courses. Because I don't think, I think in the majority of live rooms, I don't think you're actually going to learn. Or you're not at the knowledge level where you can comprehend enough to learn. It's kind of like telling someone to write a paragraph before writing a sentence. So I, I think I'd have to go with courses. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up two Twitter, Twitter accounts. I'm going to answer both of them. And then I'll, then I'll feel good about myself. <laughs> Oliver says, but in the live room, I've picked up a lot of nuggets. Yeah. I, I think you need both. I think it has to go from one to the other. I think your, your courses have to be your basic training. And then once you graduate from your courses, then you get thrown out there into the field. And that's the, the second stage of your learning. Learn it in a controlled environment. Learn it in a simulated environment, which I guess you can call a live room or like demo trading. And then finally, learn it live experience in a real environment, right? Three stages of learning. Learn it in a controlled environment. Learn it in a uh, simulated environment. Learn it in the live environments. And, 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 all, and you're going to learn different lessons from all three, right? You will learn your concepts in your controlled environment, your courses, 
you will learn your practical application in that simulated environment. You will learn your emotional triggers <laughs> in the live environment. Because you, 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 can't, you can't simulate emotions in demo trading, in courses, in anything. Like there's, I tell you what, there, there, it, it, it's, the, it's the same thing. I was never a boxer, but I, I, I played football, which is pretty much close, right? There's nothing like getting hit in a game. We can run all the practice drills we want. We can hit all the pads we want. There is nothing that simulates hitting another human being or getting hit like an in-game hit. And that's why you see all the football players that do preseason. They like that preseason game because they, they got to get hit a few times for their body to get used to it. They're like, it's different than practice. We got to get hit a couple times. So every, everything's necessary. Everything is important. Thank you for that. I thought that, I thought that was cool. I'm not going to answer the tweet. Because I, I don't I don't want to put my name on a specific answer without expanding on it. But that was a uh, it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> Mike Tyson. Everyone has a plan to get hit in the face. Yeah, everyone's a good trader till they take that first loss. Right. So since we're on the subject of trading education, I had to promote what I believe is the best trading educational resource out there in the world, and that's going to be us at www.tier1trading.com. The cool thing is, is that with your 14-day risk-free trial membership, you get the experience both of what we talked about today here in the podcast. You get to hop into some training courses. You also get access to the supportive resources like our live trading room. So don't hesitate. Head over to www.tier1trading.com right now. Sign up for that 14-day risk-free trial membership and dive in to the content available so that you can become a consistently profitable trader.